there guys, Strogdor here again and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you something that's not my own idea, but it is my own design. This is a smart waterfall lighting system. Uh, if you guys watch Mumbo Jumbo, you might have seen this before. Of course it didn't look like this because his uh, his design used pistons and we don't have pistons yet so I had to redesign this whole thing to get it working uh, basically what it is is it detects and uh, note that this should have a a uh, daylight sensor on it but since I play in always day mode it wouldn't work so I'm using a lever to use for display purposes so during the day this right here will just be a waterfall but at night and that will be signified by flipping the switch at night it switches over to a lava fall and again, you put a daylight sensor to that, it will work just like it's supposed to. I'll show you how to hook that up uh, during the tutorial. But once it goes back to day, you'll notice that the waterfall comes back. So at night you got lava to light up your world. And at day you got waterfalls. Just because, I guess. <laughs> um... Yeah, so like I said, this is Mumbo Jumbo's idea. I believe he got the idea from Reddit, though. So, yeah. But this is all my design, so... Yeah, credit to me for the design. Okay, let's get on with the tutorial. Now, the things that you're going to need are... Uh, your blocks of choice. I'm using quartz in this. Some redstone dust. Some redstone torches. Quite a few repeaters. Uh, some comparators. Some droppers. Some hoppers. Some dispensers. And I'm going to be using a lever again uh, to just hook it up initially and then I'll show you how to hook up a daylight sensor if you guys want to put that on it so to start off we're going to take four droppers and these are droppers right here four droppers and put them in a line like so in each of the droppers you're going to put an item in it doesn't matter what item but you're going to want to put one item in it Uh, going into the front of these droppers, you're going to place a hopper going into it. And you're going to do that for each of them. And then you're going to take your blocks of choice, place them on top of the droppers, like that. Uh, Going into those blocks, you're going to place a redstone repeater on top of the hopper that goes into those blocks. Coming out of the hoppers, you're going to place redstone comparators. Out of those comparators, put one repeater in front of each of them. Then what you're going to do is take your block of choice. You're going to crouch down and place a block on top of the middle two comparators. Just the middle two. Then you're going to put a torch on both sides. So one on this side and one on this side. And... Let's go ahead and place a block right there and then place redstone dust on top of these two blocks. This will be your input block. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, lever on there. And basically what all this is, is actually two dual edge uh, monostable circuits. Uh, you can do it with one uh, dual edge, but the thing is the wiring gets a little bit more messy. So I just built it with two. Uh, it makes the wiring a lot more clean and uh, nice. But what a dual edge monostable does, and these two right here are one, and then these two right here are another one. Basically, it creates a pulse on the rising edge, which means going from the off position to the on position. And then it creates another pulse going from the uh, on position to the off, off position. And if you notice, when we turned on, these two went on, and then when we turned it off, the outside two went on. And that's how we're going to get our stuff to end up uh, turning on and turning off all in sequence in the right way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a block and place a block there and a block there. Now we're going to take two repeaters coming out of the other repeaters that don't have the block in front of them. Then we're going to come on to this side and put a repeater going into the block. Now what you're going to need to do is this long line of repeaters. You're going to want each one of these three to be on four ticks. And each one of these three to be on four ticks. This is our timing circuit coming off of the dual edge monosable. Um, then the ones going into the blocks on this side, you're going to want on four ticks. That's part of this line actually. So what we're going to do is now put two blocks right there. We're going to take redstone dust and place it here and here. And then we're going to take redstone dust and just place it here. Do not, do not put any uh, dust on this one. Okay, so that actually now connects, connects this line and this line right here and right here together. So we only have two outputs right here and right here. And those will be going to the each to a different dispenser and if you notice when I turn this on this one turns on then this one turns on but when I turn it off this one turns on and then this one turns on that's important that's how it should work right now okay next what we're going to do is go ahead and get our wall set up so basically it's going to be too high and then there's going to be another row with a hole missing right there. That's where our water and lava is going to come out of and then I capped it off. Uh, then we're going to come out like this, go up, go ahead and place a block there. Now we're going to take dispensers, and this time it is dispensers, not droppers. And you're going to put a dispenser right there. Then you're going to place a dispenser right there. They're both facing inward. So now we can cap this off. We're going to place a block there and a block there. We're going to take redstone dust and place it on those blocks, feeding right into the dispensers. And now if we turn it on, we should hear two clicks. And then when we turn it off, we should hear two clicks. Next, what you're going to do is go ahead and dig out these blocks. And I'm going to replace the blocks with my blocks of choice. Basically you want a hole right underneath where the water will go so it doesn't spill out everywhere. 
and that should be entirely the whole mechanism so to get this set up you're going to want a bucket of lava and a bucket of water now what you're going to do is look at this redstone dust right here make sure that this is off that means it's in night mode which means the lava should be dispensed and the water shouldn't and you're going to actually have to manually dispense the lava the first time because one of them has to be out otherwise if they're neither one of them are out uh, you'll end up getting cobblestone or uh, obsidian and it will mess up your machine so once you get the lava dispensed you're going to come over to your other dispenser and put water in it and that is set up so now if we flip this from night mode to day mode our lava gets dis or picked up and then our water gets dispensed and then if we go back the lava gets dispensed and the water gets picked up so just like that that is the entire build so now if you want to put a daylight sensor here you're going to have to power this block or power this and the way I'm going to do it actually we're going to leave that block there I'm going to go ahead and do that so basically just put a block above your redstone put a repeater right here two redstone dust and your uh, daylight sensor and as you can see since it's day out it uh, dispense the water and I can't really show you what it is like with night but it's it works trust me uh, if this doesn't turn on soon enough for you I can tell you that with two dust right here it will turn on when the Sun completely goes down and mobs will spawn before the Sun goes completely down so actually what I recommend is to go out another block and put three dust but that's my preference um, that means it will turn on just before mobs will start spawning and then the light can prevent further mobs from spawning so yeah that's how you hook up a daylight sensor and this is the entire build so please leave a like and subscribe guys if you enjoyed the build it helps out my channel uh, yeah I would go and check out mumbo jumbo's uh, video uh, if I remember I'll put a link down in the description his versions a lot different so if any of you guys are on PC or console I would maybe use his uh, so yeah that's the entire tutorial guys thanks for watching uh, I will see you guys next time bye